I still can't stop listening to Jaden's new album, CTV3. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Photograph. So as always, if this video helps you, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And subscribe for more lessons from this artist. Enjoy! So for this song, I'm going to place a capo on the first fret. And the intro is made up of two chords, the first of which is an A major chord. So you're going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the second fret with your pointer finger. And you're going to finger pick the A and B string at the same time. Then the A string. G string. A string, then B string twice, then A string, then you're going to hammer on and you're going to pick the B string and hammer on and pull off on the third fret, then G string, then we're going to go to a C sharp minor chord, so you're going to bar the fourth fret from the A string with your pointer finger, you're going to place your ring finger on the sixth fret of the, B str the D string your pinky finger on the 6th fret of the G string, and your middle finger on the 5th fret of the B string, and you're going to finger pick the B string, A string, G string, A string, B string, twice, A string, G string, A string, B string. Then we're going to do that whole thing again. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the verse. Uh, so for the verse, we're going to do the same thing that we did during the intro for the first two chords. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord. So you're going to bar the ninth fret from the A string with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the 11th fret of the D string, your pinky finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and your middle finger on the 10th fret of the B string. And you're going to finger pick the B string, A string, G string, A string, B string. Then an F major chord. So you're going to bar the 8th fret from the A string with your pointer finger, and you're also going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the 10th fret, and you're going to do the same picking pattern again. Then we're going to go to an E suspended chord, so you're going to place your pointer finger on the 6th, uh, or on the 7th fret of the A string, your ring finger on the 9th fret of the G string, and your pinky finger on the 10th fret of the B string, and you're going to finger pick, do the same picking pattern again. Then you're going to place your pointer finger on the 6th uh, fret of the A string, your middle finger on the 8th fret of the G string, and your pinky finger on the 10th fret of the B string, and you're going to do the same picking pattern again. And then we're going to go to a D major chord. So you're going to bar the 5th fret from the A string with your pointer finger, and you're also going to bar the D, G, and B strings on the 7th fret, and you're going to do, going to do the same picking pattern again, uh, except extended. Then you're going to uh, pick the A, G, and B string all at the same time on the uh, D major chord. Then an E major chord. So you're just going to take the D major chord and move it up two frets. And you're going to pick the A, G, and B string all, th all at the same time again. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord again. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. Then to an A major chord, so you're going to bar the 5th fret with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string, your pinky finger on the 7th fret of the D string, and your middle finger on the 6th fret of the, um, of the G string. And you're going to uh, finger pick the low E string, D string, and G string at the same time. Then we're going to go to a G sharp minor chord. 
So you're going to bar the fourth fret with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the sixth fret of the A string, your pinky finger on the sixth fret of the D string, and you're going to uh, finger pick the G string, low E string, D string, low E string, G string. Then we're going to go to an E major chord. So you're going to place your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, your ring finger on the second fret of the D string, and your pointer finger on the first fret of the G string, and you're going to finger pick the low E string, D string, and G string at the same time. And all put together, it sounds like this. Now the chorus. Uh, so the chorus starts on a B minor chord, so you're going to bar the second fret from the A string with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and your middle finger on the third fret of the B string. And you're going to pick the finger pick the B string, A string, G string, A string, B string twice, A string, G string, A string, B string. Then we're going to go to an E major chord, uh, which we already learned, and you're going to do the same pick, finger picking pattern again. Then to an A major bar chord, which we also learned already, and you're going to finger pick the G string, low E string, D string, low E string, G string twice, low E string, D string, low E string, G string. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord. Uh, so you're going to bar the second fret with your pointer finger. You're going to place your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string and your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the D string. And you're going to do the same picking pattern again. Then we're going to go back to the B minor chord and do the same picking pattern again. Then the E major chord. Then we're going to go to an F sharp minor chord, uh, which we already learned, and you're going to finger pick the B string, A string, G string, A string, B string. Then back to the E major chord and do the same picking pattern again. Then to a D major chord, which we already learned, and you're going to finger pick the A, G, and B string at the same time. Then you're going to do those last three chords again. And all put together, it sounds like this. And that's it for Photograph. Uh, like I mentioned, if this video helped you, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And subscribe for more lessons from this artist. Thanks.